project it has a managing difficult audiences titled where I am welcome Julie hello nice to see so many of you here as Harvey took the beginning from me, which was that I really hated Zoom at the beginning, I have to begin with a story. And that is mostly to be, so Susan be happy, because she expects me to tell a story anyway. So, once upon a time, there was a boy, in a college in love with a girl in China. And the girl lived 10 hours far away with a train. And he had to go on a train to see her from time to time. A bonded train, they was only standing place. And even then, they were so near like sardines. And then the boy married and went to America to study on the Silicon Valley and studied what? He became, after he had three children, the CEO of Zoom. So, oh my goodness. That is really a great story. I love, love, love your stories. Thank and I you. know that about. You are so nice to say that you love my story. I am delighted. And his name was Eric Yuan. I heard uh, his video, but I did not really know much about him until a few hours ago, and finally I found my story. Now, of course, my story begins with me hating Zoom because I didn't want to change. Who wants to change? You know, I actually hate Zoom too. I agree with you. You know, Zoom is just gets really frustrating with all these people on the screen all the time. So, I 
I also took a photo in my bedroom where I am not now uh, of uh, a curtain which is behind me. No, the same Eric who went 10 hours to see his wife and who wanted to find something so he can interact and so he could interact with his sweetheart without going 10 hours there and he could remain home with his children, he has three children, and not uh, work, uh, go far away to work every month. Yes. He decided to make something that even those who don't have so much money can use. So we can use Zoom and we can use the Zoom virtual background even if you don't buy it yet. Every one of you just has to download Zoom and then can but I heard that Zoom is very expensive, and um, how, how, how can you get those when it's so expensive? So that is my background, and now I open my Zoom presentation, which begins here. Can you see my presentation? Yes. Yes. So when you download the Zoom and put your name on it, you get this screen and you click on the setting. And in the setting, you find virtual background here. Can you see? Yes. Yes, okay. And uh, opening virtual background gives you the possibility to add images or remove images. I begin to love Zoom because I like images. And I wanted to change images very strongly. I found a lot of nice images. And I told myself, here, green, what kind of prism I need to look at it. People will think I am outside if I put that behind me. But then, when you are so happy, too happy, something happens. And that happens here. Yeah. You see? I was there and I was not there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the laughter. Wonderful. <laughs> and then I begin to Google. Because at level one, okay, I learned to go further and to do research, Google research. And I researched Google what to do, how to avoid this kind of picture. And of course, I could from time to time get it a little bit better and have only a few spots behind me. But then I read that what is really important is has to a light and the light not near you. At the beginning, I believe I have to have a, a light here near me. And I have to have two or three lights to, so you can see me. And I don't know you realize, but that light you see there, here, is near my door. And I am on the other side of the room. And the second thing I learned you have to have only one kind of lightning. So if I open my curtain and it comes light also from outside because it's not completely dark, it will be not better, it will be worse. 
another thing, the light, as you see, is not in face of me, but 45 degrees on my right, could be left, doesn't matter. But that things, if it seems small, are very important. Because you have to light from far away the screen which is behind you. And another thing I learned, <coughs> I have to put my chair at least one meter. How much is a meter in American or English foot? I don't know. But you see, the chair is not near the window. It is farther away. And I had to move my everything in my living room in order to be able to be farther away from that green screen which I had. And here is my real green screen. And here is a bad lightning <coughs> because it was too near. So half of it is in black, in a um, shadow, and half of it, it is a light. So I had to experiment until I found which is the best lightning, and then I could obtain this. Me happy in a studio, TV studio, or me unhappy. But you know what? It seems like it's a background, isn't it? It is not a background. <laughs> This is the entrance of the hospital where I go too often. But some this kind of pictures we can do with the zoom background too. So last time I was here, I had that background, and then I don't remember exactly. I think Harvey or someone told me that. It is too open and the window open, they put my face in shadow. And so I did this picture, which I have now behind me. It is not nicer, but so just no one tells me I have to close my curtain. And I can put that wonderful thing behind me. Now, again, I want to show you I can also, because I have a lot of freckles and uh, other things on my face, but if I want, I just can use the zoom feature which tells you fade a little bit more and then you see me 30, 40 years younger suddenly. In it? Mm -hmm. The most I had to work is how that was obtained. Do you remember? Does someone remember that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. I remember. <laughs> but I didn't know how to do it until I went to the Zoom. And here it is, it is written, manual pick the color of the background. And then you click on this and you are not in the background, but you are on your face. They believe that the green screen is your face. And that is how Bob obtained this effect. And so here, I did it. <laughs> Okay. I did it also. I, I, I worked until I did obtain the blue, the red, the red uh, telephone boots from London on <laughs> my face. I had to go, I had to go back and uh, click on green and then I had a normal a normal uh, telephone boot and not not this one no well, not this one you see the difference yes yes mm -hmm. no yes. in fact what you need behind you 
you need behind you depends on what you speak about. Uh, this week, last week, I finished my la first pathway pass, the visionary communication, and I wanted to speak about pass. And I found the alley be near me from my, that begins from my street, that alley. And I told myself, I will use this one to speak about past. And I went to Zaldi Emperor online club, and here is the past behind me. They liked it very much. And I believed I told a nice story until Deborah came, and Deborah told us an even better story, a story of resilience. She told us that three days before, it was a typhoon in Philippines where she lives. And the water came in their house and was until here. And they had to swim out of the house. I have even taken pictures, she told us, and she was at the online meeting three hours after the electricity came back. I was so impressed. I was really impressed. And then we showed her the first Ian showed pictures. And then Zaldi. And then she learned on the spot in Zoom to share her screen and show us the pictures of the water and people uh, more than me in the water going outside with what they had. Now, that's the last picture I would like to show you before I close my screen. I made a, in a Flickr, which is my place I put my picture, an album with backgrounds. So all those can be used to backgrounds. And they are free for you and for everyone who doesn't uh, do many pictures. And they are of all the color. Look at the beginning, all green, green. Then yellow, all yellow, then red. Yes, all red. Wonderful. So now I would like to know how much time I have. And then I would be happy to take questions from you. You still have two and a half minutes, Julie. Really. Okay. Julie, one of the real problems that, that I have had with a certain individual who is a Toastmaster, and it's not anybody in this club, but he comes into meetings with these off the wall backgrounds, one showing him as if he is in a, a, a hall of famous pictures, and another one where he looks like he's in the rear view mirror of a car. I'm sure we've so, all seen it. What does it put so that? I would like tracks. to answer you because I know what you are speaking about. Uh, do we need someone on the wall? No. But that is not in Zoom. That is in another Samicam something which you have to put on if you want it really. I think when we speak to each other, the story is important, not where you are or putting ourselves head down and so on, and not disturbing others unless you play interruption. Uh, Julie, I've been trying to work my way through your through the instructions that you've given me, and I can't find my option where I can get into my background colors. 
what have they done wrong? I came in from the uh, Easy Speak uh, connection and I don't have it. What did they do wrong? That is a very, very good question, Brian. So I learned and I shouldn't have neglected it. Thank you for reminding me. You have first to open your individual Zoom before you come to the club meeting. So Zoom software knows that it is you. You open not the meeting, but you open the Zoom. You put it aside and then you go to uh, the um, Safari or Chrome or whatever, wherever is the mailing telling you that you have to come to Firebirds or Royal Roads or other meeting. And then you have your background. If you don't open your own Zoom, you will have no backgrounds. But you don't have to have a professional, I tell you again, even if some people who made video a long time ago tell so, because they changed it. They gave a lot of feature, which before was only for pro, to everyone. Thank you, Julie. And thank, thank you. you. Now I see the red.